Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to check out Crisis Remastered yet again, as it is coming out on Steam from the 17th of September 2021. I know a lot of people didn't buy it because of the Epic Store exclusive, and we're waiting on this remaster. But we're going to jump in today to celebrate the Steam release. Key was provided, full disclosure, by Crytek. Thank you very much, Crytek. So we can check this out again. It's had a lot of updates since the Epic Store release, though. I remember this running a little bit rough. A little bit rough on my PC. Same system, though. As I was back then, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna run as high as but uh, we possibly can. 1440p. Uh, we're gonna have DLSS off. 1440p, and we're gonna just jump into the game and uh, see how it runs. And here we are in Crisis Remastered, 30 FPS with the DLSS off. As we can see, I did try DLSS a couple of days ago on the Steam version. And there was some artifacting uh, when I tried to run uh, 4K DLSS. It ran fine, but there was some like bushes foliage went blue. So I kind of turned it back off and, and kind of coped with the 30 FPS at 1440. But uh, yeah, 30 FPS does seem a bit low for me these days. Uh, used to 60 FPS plus, but we are maxed out, ray tracing maxed out. So obviously we can see these reflections and things like that. Let's try the DLSS, because I know they did an update uh, today, the 16th. As of the making of this video, uh, let's see if they fix the DLSS uh, artifact in I had. So let's try quality. So we are up to 45 FPS on the quality setting. That's much smoother. Much smoother. Obviously, there's nothing going on on screen at the moment, but... Got a couple of soldiers over here. Excuse my aim. Okay, we got a couple of them. Now, the thing with Crisis is it, it still does stuff, even today, that is not done. Like, the, the trees. You know what that makes me feel like? Like, games today... Don't do that. And if they did, it probably wouldn't look as good. The leaves and everything actually interact. And they do cause damage if they hit you. So obviously the physics in Crisis was what it was known for. And the visuals, it was a proper benchmark back in the day and still is today. And one thing I still can't believe is this has actually been ported to console and Switch, which I did a video on, which is just unbelievable to see that running on a portable device. Right, let's mess with the DLSS settings again, as they've done a lot of optimizations. I want to see how far we can possibly push this. So let's go to what my monitor can handle, this 4K setting here. Okay, we're back down to the uh, mid-20s. Mid 20s at 4K. So balanced, we're still looking at the same from quality. Let's check out performance mode. We should see an increase with this one. Okay, we're still only just pushing 30 FPS of 4K. Let's try ultra performance with uh, the DLSS. Um, surprisingly, the image quality has held up pretty well. And we're up to where our 1440p resolution was. With DLSS on quality. So, around that anyway, give or take an FPS or two. So I'm running a 3900X and a 2070 Super, so it's really, really making my 2070 sweat. So we'll put it back down to 440. We can see a little bit more of a, the jeggies, a little bit more of the muddy look with the DLSS on Ultra Performance, but we don't need it on Ultra Performance. 
we could drop it down. A single player game. I'm quite happy with having about 40 FPS. So we'll put it back on quality. Just to get that crispness. But a bit, little bit of an FPS boost. With DLSS quality. We can see on the end of the gun there. How much sharper it is on the uh, suppressor. Single player. I'm, I'm quite happy with 40 FPS. It, it, it feels okay. Let's take the Humvee for a little bit of a drive. Sure, we've got a few more soldiers down at this encampment. Okay, we cleared some soldiers out here. Grab some ammo. I love the physics in Crisis. A dated physics engine now. Still looks good today, though. It's amazing that a game this old can still look good today, even with all the advancements we've made. In computer graphics, Crisis can still stand up amongst the best. Look at this foliage. Let me know if you plan on picking up Crisis Remastered on Steam. Let me know if you are lucky enough to have a 30 series card and how it runs for you. Probably, no doubt, a lot better than it runs for me. But oh my god, it looks good. It's a good treat for the eyes. And if you've never played it, worth a playthrough as well. I'm just I'm just a sucker for, you know, gaming history, classic games. Would, would, would Crisis be considered retro these days? I think it would, right? Oh, there's a guy over here. Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, sent that guy to a, another dimension. Well, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos on the latest games, all old games, some other games, FPS games, or anything in between. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.